Hello, my friends. Uh, welcome to our Friday afternoon. Oops, Friday morning. It's afternoon if you're in the United Kingdom. Um, I want to welcome you to our morning session. Uh, we're going to be talking about four LinkedIn recruiting strategies that produce instant results. But the best part about them is that they work on Facebook, too. LinkedIn, Facebook, it doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. The bottom line for all of you is that you can be talking to perfect prospects about your business every day. And to show you just how fast and easy it can be, we're going to log into some of your accounts. We're going to start conversations with prospects or we're going to move a conversation that you're having with a prospect along. And I'm going to show you just how fast and easy it is. Now, we have, uh, I'm in Florida. As a matter of fact, uh, depending on what news uh, station you listen to, we're in ground zero for this hurricane that's coming, Category 5. And uh, I appreciate all of your best wishes. I, I only hope that uh, next week there is um, power. Um so we can broadcast. So in case for any reason that um, we can't, I'm going to be, uh, re I'm actually going to be broadcasting some, some messages. Uh, <clears throat> number one, because I want to keep all of you motivated. And number two, I want to keep you going. Because the bottom line is, there are some people that are attending this, uh, these sessions that you are on, you're part of our 90-day game plan to Diamond. And uh, I'm doing it for you, but then I'm doing it for anybody else that's in network marketing that's tired of struggling, tired of failing, or just plain tired. Tired of having people say no. So... Uh, at any event, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to jump into Annie's account, who is building a Maluka business. Now, it doesn't matter what business you're building. Let me, let me be upfront with you about that. It does not matter. Whatever business you're building, whatever you're selling, whatever you're selling, there are people by the thousands, and some of you, people by the millions who are waiting to talk to you. They're all on Facebook. They're all on LinkedIn. And really, all you have to do, all you have to do is reach out to them. It's that fast. It's that simple. There is nothing, absolutely nothing, to prevent you from being successful in your business but your own lack of effort. That's it. I can log into somebody's account and look at in the mail section. We're going to see how, how busy are you? How active are you? And if you're not talking to five to ten people every day, well, you get what you, you, get what you put into this. Pure and simple. So, for those of you that are here for the first time, I'm going to clearly demonstrate. Whoops. This was... Uh, Clearly, uh, my crew has been working on uh, getting ready for this hurricane. Uh, last night, we did a, a training for my friends in Zija. We do trainings for a lot of companies. And so whether you're building Zija or whether you're building Isogenics or whether you're building New Skin or Herbalife, and I can't name them all, I uh, apologize, Jeunesse, uh, whether you're a power lead system uh, build, it doesn't matter. Whatever you're building. What, you're, what, I, what I demonstrate, what I've been demonstrating for 20 years is the fastest and easiest way to make more money using Facebook and LinkedIn. Anywhere in the world, anywhere in the, in the Northern Hemisphere, anywhere in the Southern Hemisphere, anywhere in Europe or South Africa, anywhere in, from Australia, New Zealand, all the way up to, to Japan. doesn't matter. There are people waiting, absolutely waiting to talk to you right now. Right now. 
there's so many people to talk to that you can't possibly talk to all of them. So you have to start filtering down. You have to start uh, literally ensuring that you're talking to people that need what you have. Now, LinkedIn has become the social network of choice of successful network marketers in every network marketing company. Why? Because everybody's professional. We're going to share with you why LinkedIn's better than Facebook to build your business. Now, I'm not saying anything terrible about Facebook. Facebook is a phenomenal resource for you. But for those of you that aspire to earning six figures, make this your full-time career. All right? You got to be on LinkedIn. Got to be on LinkedIn. If not, you're going to work five times harder than your competition if you're just doing Facebook and you're going to get smoked. Your competition's going to clean your clock. By the time you talk to some of these folks, they've already talked to people in other companies. It doesn't have to be that way. No matter how much you know or don't know, and you know, some of you feel like you're computer challenged, believe me, and I love the guy. Charlie is my social media challenge student for 2017. Okay, Might even go back to 2016. Uh, we're, we're debating whether we're going to maybe if we ever had an all-star Hall of Fame. I mean, Charlie doesn't know. He doesn't. He's a great guy. He, he's never picked up a phone. He's never done it. He's never texted. This is all new to him. He's a successful man. He's busy, but he's never done this. And he's been intimidated to try. So, uh, in our first, I mean, literally, when I tell you it took us three sessions so that we could do a webinar and we could actually um, communicate back and forth. Three sessions. But listen, it's like learning how to dance. You do this at your own pace, all right? And Charlie is absolutely going to be successful in his business, and I'll tell you why. Because he doesn't let anything anything stop him when he sets his mind to do something and if it's learning this if it's learning social media he's ready to do it so in our in our first session you know we made some changes and we you know, made it more visible or helped open up his settings and then what I did was we made a post we made a post he already had a Facebook account he was he's been on Facebook for years never paid any attention so we make this one post, all right? And then he sends me this. Next thing. Signed someone up in my business this morning who responded to the post, the, the coach we did, the, the post we did. He was someone he hadn't seen or talked to in 40 years. They moved it to the telephone. And so for those of you that are struggling, for those of you that think this is over your head, forget about it. It's not. There are, all you have to do is fill out a profile, fill in the blanks, and you are free, absolutely free, to talk to as many people as you want. And for those of you that are in our boot camp, you've seen examples where uh, we're in someone's account, maybe we'll do this today with Annie, and you got multiple conversations going, and at some point in time, you might have to say, you know what, I don't think this person's a candidate for my business, or I don't think this person needs what I have, don't think so. Or, you know, I love the guy and I'd really like to help him because I know, I know he would be absolutely successful in his business, but um, there's too much going on in his life. He typically, people, this guy, there's no way this person is going to get in the business. And if he does get in the business, God, it's going to be a pain in the ass to train him, to help him. So you can ease your conscience by reminding yourself that, hey, you know, you can't help everybody. You know, they've, they're evacuating, you know, the state of Florida. And uh, uh, we talked about it at the beginning of uh, the week about taking the whole family out of here. We just got a dog. We just got a puppy. 
and uh, we've got two other dogs and there's just been a lot of stuff going on and hey I got a boat too so um, I'm staying and you know we're ready the boats tied up and uh, it's gonna be what it's gonna be but you know we're not I don't believe we're in any danger the danger is afterwards you saw what happened to those people in Houston uh, my good friend George Ruiz is in Austin and he waited one day four hours to get gas it's crazy crazy down here now for those of you that are students when, when we jump into um, and it's account we're already there I want to give you some examples of things that you can do today immediately that'll get you talking to people all right because that's what it's all about it's all about talking to people I want to show you three of LinkedIn's newest features that will enable you to dominate your market how do you dominate your market you know we see all of these uh, social media things dominate your market crush your competition well how do you dominate your market you don't do it by outspending you do it by taking a shortcut and getting directly to your perfect client before he responds to somebody's ad before he fills out his information, puts it in some kind of autoresponder, because he really wants what you have. Before he ends up spending thousands of dollars, he might as well take that money and flush it down the toilet for all it's, the good it's going to do. And the truth is, you know a better way. You know a faster way. And that's why when you follow these simple formula that I've been sharing for years, you save your money. You build a business and you become a top earner in your company. Period. End of story. If we look at all of the new features that are Facebook has and LinkedIn has added. And you look at the new one, which is active status. Now you can see when people are online, just like Facebook, just like Facebook. So you want to live the laptop lifestyle. And you know, I remember when I lived the laptop lifestyle and I mean, literally, I traveled around the country. My business was in my laptop. Business was in my laptop. Go anywhere. Travel anywhere. Didn't matter. Could have hopped on a plane and zip. Could have taken off. But all of a sudden you got a family and you got grandkids and you got pets and you got dogs. And suppose if it really was going to be dangerous, we would go. But I've been through hurricanes before I've been through Andrew but if you're living the laptop lifestyle you pick up you get on a plane you come back when it's over or maybe you don't come back because it's a disaster I don't even want to think about that top earners have teams of people enrolling their best new customers and reps they're doing it in less than an hour a day and it's fast but no one's really willing to tell, to tell you how they're doing it unless you're on their team so I will all right, so that you, I'll show you. And uh, you know, my staff gets on my case all the time. They say, Max, you know, you these open webinars. You're giving away information. You could be charging an arm and a leg for it. I don't need to. And the truth is, I hate to see somebody that really and truly is passionate about a product, is passionate about a company, and struggles and fails because you don't have somebody to talk to. Welcome to the world of social media. I want you to think mobile. I want you to think texting because texting is the way you talk to people. And I want you to think big. Because you could build your business faster in another country than your upline who thinks he has to get on a plane and go over there. So we're going to demonstrate step by step exactly how to instantly connect with perfect prospects, communicate with them at will, and close a sale in less than an hour a day. So now when I jump into Annie's account, and uh, let me um, unmute Annie and I should warn you before we start that Annie lives in the jungle and um, so we're gonna hear birds and we're gonna hear all kinds of animals <clears throat> I unmuted her <laughs> and Annie doesn't really live in the jungle but she, how many animals? I actually live in New England, but I bring the jungle to me, so. Well, there you go. <laughs> okay, 
So uh, it's nice to talk to you again, Annie. Uh, um, Morning, Max. Um, how, how are you liking a lot of these uh, LinkedIn changes that are taking place? Uh, I love it. I finally got the, um, the notification. I got the video. I got a lot of stuff this last couple of days. It all came to me pretty quick. Mm -hmm. All right. So let's, uh, <laughs> jump, let, let's jump into the messaging area. You know, let me, let me, before we go there, um, there's a new feature that, have you seen the one where, and I think it'll show up on your screen, when you accept someone as a friend request, has that, has that changed for you yet? Uh, I'm not sure what you're talking okay, about. Well, I've gotten so much new stuff now, it's, it's, it's crazy, like it all started happening to me really quick. Well, you've got 9,000 connections, so probably not. So let's go. Here's what's going to happen. If you have less than maybe 500 connections, when, um, let me, as long as I'm talking about it. I want to bring it up. I took a picture of it the other day. And, uh, I mean, I've never seen LinkedIn. Nobody has. Nobody has seen th this kind of activity where LinkedIn is giving you so many tools, so many things that you can do and, and to talk to people. They're pushing people in front of you. Let me... Uh, so who are we, who are we going to be talking about today? Um, uh, I have three people. Gary Luft, Tracy Randall, and Bruce Nelkin. Okay. I actually have a bunch of people. Okay, so let me I, see. We can reach out to a bunch of them. Well, you know, I'll tell you something. See, the nice thing about this is when we reach out to them, they're going to, um, some of them are going to respond right away. Okay. Right. And uh, let's see here. There was, I just want to bring this up. Huh. Look down here. Did you see that link I sent you on um, Facebook? That thing for the live radar? Uh, I know I'm going to, I'll take a look at it. Okay. So, it's so cool. who, who are we looking at here? Uh, look at Bruce Nelkin. Okay. Affiliate marketer. Yeah. I mean, you know, um, actually, Bonnie and I were talking about, um, I've been a little leery of uh, approaching people who are pushing hard for me because I have a kind of a history of people pushing hard for me. And so I don't exactly know how to um, recruit the recruiter. Okay. So if you could help me with that a little bit, I would love to... Um, you know, one, I don't know um, the how the conversation should flow, mm -hmm. and two, um, you know, when do I pull back? When do I know how to pull back? And two, when do I know when it becomes a good candidate? Uh, you know, I'll tell you something, <clears throat> folks. Uh, sometimes things happen, and we have a uh, a schedule, and we have an itinerary. But sometimes you get one of these magic moments, and we're going to experience one right here, where we're going to address uh, a strategy, and uh, we get to know it. We get to do it in the latest method of communicating with folks. Okay. Now, Annie, let me ask you a question. How long have you been with your company? Seventeen years. Okay. And you're just for the audience. What company are you with? Melaleuca. Okay. So you've been in the company for 17 years. You've watched companies open and close. You've watched the industry uh, uh, 
uh, just shift and make all kinds of changes. But you've been with this company for 17 years. How long have they been in business? 32 years. Okay. So right off the bat, if there's somebody looking for stability, if there's somebody that is passionate about the concept of making money on the internet, okay, and they've tried this company and they've tried that company. In fact, there are things taking place in your industry now that uh, there are things going on that frankly, and I wouldn't be surprised if before the end of the year, uh, there is a major, major failure uh, in a particular segment of the industry. I'm not going to you give that away. But the bottom line is, and then of course there are affiliate marketers, there are people out there trying to sell stuff, and then there's your friend Bruce, who is trying to sell all kinds of stuff. But the thing is, you're not recruitable. You're not, no, recru no. You're not, you're not recruitable. And no. You're not, okay. So, so I'm a, on a scale of one to 10, I'm a minus five. <laughs> right. Okay. So, 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 and, and folks, you could be in your company for six months. And you can be unrecruitable because you're with a great company. You're passionate right. about it. You believe in it. You, 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 you're, you're, you're living proof. You've been through. So nobody is going to be able to convince you that um, there's a better opportunity. So right. did you reach out to Bruce? Oh, no. So you reached out to Bruce, all right? Right. And right. let's take a look at who is Bruce. Affiliate marketing at Better Planet Paper. And world's first consumer driven transactional platform. Uh, well, I'm not so sure it's the first, all right? <laughs> uh, and so it's an infinity networking. So we come down here and. Um, okay. So the, the big question is. You know, what's he selling? So here's, and you're going to see a lot of this. Look at all the time and effort. This, this fellow has put, he's got 24,000 followers. He is active on here. I get, get a 1% ROC, which equals a 40% ROI in six months. So he's got all this stuff out there and he's been doing this now for two months. Right. All right. So we come down here and he's been doing this for a year. So this is about two years. Lion is uh, LinkedIn online open networking. Yep, yep, yep. 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 So, that, so now we go over here. We're still in 2015. Affiliate, top affiliate, looking for partners. Yeah. Okay, okay, now we're down. So now we're down to 2014. So this is this all 2014. Right. Social media marketing. Yeah. Right. Social media expert. Boom, boom, boom. Home business income. Look at all this. And it's all, all, all. Help recruit 34 leaders in an industry. But I don't see anything. Whoa, look at this. Well, he graduated in 1993. So let's see what, let's see what he's done before. Apprentice for traffic tactics. Now we're down to 2010. An expert on pay per call. Coupon director. Okay. So we want to get to the bottom, which is when, when somebody comes to you and is trying to sell you something, right? No matter what, right. It, is, what it is, the first thing you're going to do is you're gonna look at it, you're gonna smile, of course they can't see the smile, virtually, <laughs> but you're gonna smile, you're gonna say, you know, this is, that's really great. How long have you been doing this? How long have you been doing this? And get them to talk about, they wanna talk. Get them to talk about them, not about what they're selling. So let's see, you came up, so you reach out to him, say, well, I have to agree. I love, don't you love how that line works? And follow up how I made some amazing new friends this is the icebreaker how long right. been, how long have been on LinkedIn how's it working six eight years already it seems it works okay I used to have to have software that sent 300 messages a day when I was when that was working LinkedIn was great 
We now not so much. Takes too much time. Okay. Now he's right about that. Um, he's right about that, and um, um, oh God, Annie. Um, I, I looked at something yesterday that how, how, how would you like to be able to send uh, everybody that was on Facebook or for that matter, everybody that was on LinkedIn that you were connected to uh, a, a short personal text message and you could do it all at the same time? Everybody? Everybody. That I'm connected with all 9,000? Oh, Every, God. Every one of them. <laughs> Every one of them, okay? I, I, I just, I just, I got to look at that. I got to look at it last week. And I am, I am so blown away, excited about it. I can't tell you. But let's get back to this. Okay. <laughs> that would be awesome. <laughs> I'm telling you. So when I was working, okay, so you write back and you go, uh, working with LinkedIn now is an amazing resource. What do you do? Um, and he comes back and he says, okay, two major projects right now. One is Bitcoin and the other for low tech, a ubiquitous green product that everyone on earth takes, uses daily and we can get it to them for free and make ourselves a fortune in the process. I hate to tell them, but I've been to third world countries. Not everybody uses toilet paper, <laughs> but... <laughs> Anyway. <laughs> okay, and 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 you know, um, okay. So right away, without even getting into this, right? Okay. So he's he's at night, but you know he's probably around. So we're gonna thanks so much for sharing. I'm always amazed. Um, I'm continuously amazed at what people are doing online. How long have you been doing this? So you want to know, um, he kind of told you right here, and I got to take a look, okay? I mean, I just, toilet paper paste. You know, I, you know, I got to tell you something. If it's the one company I'm thinking about, no, I, no, it's not. It's not. Um, okay. So, I'm continuously amazed at what, people are doing online how long have you been doing this see we know what he's doing he's told us um right. you know we don't have to ask him what he's selling he, he's given it to you so we're going to send this over and my guess is <laughs> all right so my guess is he's going to come back and we can start a conversation. Right. Um, because everybody, everybody's normal. Well, now notice we, we could see it right here. But even though we don't see a little green dot next to him, it doesn't mean he's not going to get a text. Right. Not, he's not going to get a notification. Okay. So who's the other one? Now, now, now let me, um, let, before we jump, let me just tell you how this is going to go. All right. He's going to come back and he's going to give you a number. And then what you want to know is what are some of the other th we're going to find out how long he's been selling it and then we want to find out um what other things has he sold he's an affiliate marketer he's he's selling all kinds of things the thing is and so you want to find out what are some of the things you've sold uh in the last how, how long has he been affiliate marketing what did he do before he got into affiliate marketing what happened to him you know, after he left that low end job, you know, what is he doing now? Because a lot of affiliate marketers uh, have full time jobs. You know, what else is he doing? 
and they're using their salaries to support their affiliate marketing activities. And at some point in time, at some point in time, the smart ones, um, and those are the, the smart ones are the ones you want to talk to, the smart ones realize or recognize ultimately that if you're going to sell something on the internet, sell something that people are going to buy over and over and over and over again, and that generates residual income for you. It's a network marketer's dream. Only, you know, people are running around. I mean, toilet paper. I can't tell you how many times uh, there have been companies over the years that went network marketing with toilet paper. Um, and as far as the other one's concerned, um, let, let's just say that um, th there's a real rage right now about these uh, Bitcoin things. And uh, I'm just gonna tell my coaching students out there, I, I'd be making friends with those people, all right? I really, really would, because some people are swearing by it. And, um, you know, personally, I just don't see the United States government sitting back and letting someone yeah. come, come up with their own currency. It's not a question of if it's going to happen. It's a question of when. Mm -hmm. And right. uh, so, so see, now you, so we want to find out how long have you been doing this? Okay. I mean, this could be a very, very nice person. Maybe he's got a wife and kids. And, and so, uh, Bruce, Bruce, if you were my nephew, <laughs> okay, I'd give you a hug, then I'd slap you. And I say, listen, uh, you know, what experience have you had with network marketing? Okay, have you ever been involved? Have you ever marketed or sold something that wasn't a one-shot sale, where people would buy over and over and over again? Have you ever has that? Have you ever done that? Because you can show him how to do it. You could show him how tomorrow he could be talking to people and signing them up in your in, in Maluga and uh, and bringing them into the business, right? Right. Right. So, Right, so you're doing him a favor if he's interested in learning. And all you really have to do is find out if he's worth, um, um, you know, if worth if, well, right. you know, when you say worth, you know, worth, uh, yeah, no, I, know. The, the, I don't, worth, didn't say it correctly, but you, I know what you mean, yeah. Right, so here, here's what happens, okay? Let's say, for example, he's hot for this stuff. Well, you're connected, it's not like you're gonna unfriend him and ban him from seeing you know, what you're doing. What you do is, is you recognize, and this is part of the 90 days to diamond uh, game plan, is every time you touch somebody, you are constantly thinking, where could this go? Now, depending upon, um, how, and certainly he's all over the net, I mean, the, the number of followers and everything else, you know, the question is, um, if he doesn't see it the first time you bring it up, then we just stay in touch. And we come back to him around uh, Halloween. Bruce, how's it going? And now, you know, there are people that just seem to jump from deal to deal to deal, company to company to company. They feel like if, unless I'm in right at the ground floor, um, um, you know, you can't make any money in that business. And it's, that's nonsense. It's crazy. And of course, the other thing is, you know, that as your company opens up in different countries, you all have the first opportunity to go in there and literally have, you know, the first organizations because you can do it virtually. So Thanksgiving, maybe, maybe it's going to take Christmas Eve. Okay. Or maybe in time, you know, do you think they're going to do that, that uh, bonus thing again? Like they did last year, you know, you hit senior director, you make ten grand. Have you heard anything? Uh, I'm sure that company does that all the time. They do different bonuses. They just had one that was five hundred dollars for director. That was last month. They had uh, that was above and beyond the normal bonuses. So you, I mean, they just did that. You well, know, last I, month. I'm, 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 I've asked. I haven't heard yet, but I believe if they did it last year, they'll do it again this year. And, and of course, if you hit senior director, you make 10 grand. Yeah. Okay. So. The company is always throwing bonuses yeah. and advancement yeah. bonuses yeah. out. So. Yeah. so, so, so this guy, 
you know, we're going to see. We're going to see. Who's the, yeah. next, who's the next one? Um, so I have two more. Gary Luft. Gary yeah, and L-U-F-T. And these next two aren't as, they're a little bit lower. Okay. I think. Now, my numbers. now, Gary Luft got a PhD. Now, he's mobile. Nine hours ago, he did something. Yeah, and he's he's a, kind of interesting. Uh, he's not he's a you know, new contact, um, but he's he retired and rehired and very talkative. Now, is, um, it, is this somebody that you know from your past? Nope. Nope, he was a teacher search. Okay, he's a high school math teacher, aspiring writer, blogger, and a copywriter. Yeah. Mm. Always enjoyed writing. Husband, father, grandfather, minister, college professor, researcher, counselor, teacher. Okay, now, all right. And so, right away, you should be thinking, look how active he is on here. So, yeah. so most of the net people that you meet uh, that are this active have found some network marketing company. They're involved in that. Now he's a, he's a he's teaching algebra. He's teaching now. He wait a minute. He, wait a minute. He's teaching. Um, he's a math teacher. Returning to the classroom after an eight-month hiatus, my prayer is that my students will learn as much about living an honorable life as about math. Towards seventh. We'll coach the eighth grade boys basketball team. Math teacher. Okay, let's look. You know, the, 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 the thing that's so fascinating is how much information you have. So this person has been in the, uh, okay, back to 1996 teacher. And uh, Whoa. So, he's a minister and a teacher, and he's got a PhD. All right. Um, okay. Right, let's see how this can go. How's it working for you? Okay, so let's see. Here. I've been on LinkedIn for 10 years. I haven't made full use of the connections, but you enjoy seeing things that colleagues post. I despise the vitriol and hatred that some... Always plan on posting regularly, but life seems to get in the way. Okay, so basically what he's telling you here. I always, okay, so he's been in education his entire life. Okay, so he clearly likes what he does. Uh, um, um, okay. um, uh, um. Okay, so now here. Okay, so he appreciates your connection, but he doesn't ask you about you. Right. Right? Okay, so you ask him what does he do? 
High school math teacher, retired three years ago. Couldn't stay away. Yeah, that's why I start. I put him down lower because um, it seems like he seems like he's pretty happy where he's at. Okay. Um, Maybe. I mean, well, I don't know. That's. A, I guess that was my read, and that's why I was coming to you. I was like, well, um, you know. It, you know an awful lot about this person and, and you never want to say never, okay? Except we both know that there are plenty of opportunities when you say never, okay? And uh, the, the, some of them are obvious and some of them are, are subtle. Now, really, there's an easy way to find out, okay? Uh, in all of the years that he's been in teaching and he's been in education, you, you have to admit that somebody has talked to him about network marketing, right? Yes. Okay. So you're, you're having a casual conversation. You know, you meet Gary. He's got a PhD in education. He truly loves what he does. And, um, um, you know, you just read a report that said that teachers, teachers, you know, if, if you look at the... Um, the professions that have the highest burnout rates. Teachers is right up there. I think they're two. They're in the top four. So the question, you know, would be, how have you, uh, you know, clearly you you must love teaching so much that, uh, you know, you want, you know, uh, while earning a good salary from the school district. So he's happy. No, no financial needs. I personally question, based on what you know, based on what you know, on a scale from one to ten, granted, we never, never say never, but on a scale from one to ten, what do you think the chances are that this person would be interested in um, your business? One or two. All right. Well, yes, but that's true. One or, a one or a two. But wouldn't it be great if he was? Wouldn't it sure. Be, wouldn't it be great if he sure. was? Sure. As a, as a teacher, PhD, and not excited, he, it would be great if he was. So, so, so here's... So it's, it's not going to hurt me to, I mean, to ask the question or go down that road. Right, but, right. But there, 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 there's a, there's a, there is, let me make a suggestion, okay? Well, let's, let's, let's write back to him. He's, okay. High school teacher, retired three years ago, now he's back in the classroom. See, the, the question is, how does he, does he like learning new things? Okay? You know, in a, whether it's for income, the, the man is clearly doing what he loves. So the way to move the conversation along, to discover um, uh, what experiences he had with network marketing. Now, we know that teachers have a high burnout rate, and we know that teachers are underpaid and truly underappreciated, but if he thinks the money that he was making, maybe because he's got a PhD, so they pay him more. But most, pe you know, most teachers that you meet don't earn a good salary. Would you agree? Very much so. Okay, so, so hey, listen, I applaud you. Uh, if you know, and so that could be the, you know, so maybe he's never had to look at that. He's he's clearly busy, and when he has looked at it, when people have brought it to him, it was in a form that he absolutely um, turned him off. Oh, you mean I got to invite somebody over to my house? Right. Uh, well, you know, right. I don't, you know, I don't, or you know, it was the the process of getting people into the business that would turn them off. Right. He would, he could love it today. I mean, right. Gary, you know, Gary, look, if I, you know, Gary, would you like to make, you know, there are so many different scripts. I, I mean, at the appropriate time, he said, Gary, would you be interested in making some extra income in addition to what you're currently doing? I mean, that would be one way to do it. I mean, uh, you know, in all of the time 
Gary, that you know you've been a teacher. Um, you know what network marketing companies have you gotten involved with, or you know what experience do you have with network marketing? Many of many of the te- you know just many of the teachers I work with, or many many of the teachers I meet on LinkedIn are all involved in a network marketing company to generate extra income. Which one? Are you, which one are you in? And it's these little conversations like that uh, when approach at the right time person will open up and again remember you're it's not it's not the same it's not what they thought about it's not what they experienced before you can show them how Gary listen if you have an hour a day you have an hour a day Gary uh, um, this is a social network LinkedIn it's become a social network and now you can network and meet great um, types of professional people but but you want to learn about the guy and and so you want to get this person to write back okay so we don't eat again he doesn't ask you a single question my doctorate is family studies so I want to do some writing about family issues along other things on my blog he's what so he's got a blog so So, and more freedom to be involved with my grandson, children's activities, doctorate. Um, again, oh, you know, like a one or a two. I, I mean, I'm looking at this person, but if I was going to, you know, if, if, uh, all right, this is this is kind of going to be this will be like a little exercise. Um, <laughs> All right, so he's a high school teacher, retired three years ago. Now he's back. He coached basketball for 20 years. So that, maybe that was it. You know, maybe that was it. Uh, you know, how did his teams do? I mean, you could literally take every line. There's a question. High, high school math teacher. Um, retired three years ago. What did he do after he retired? Well, well, you see, but, but well, okay, but let's look at this first question. I'm a high school math teacher. I retired three years ago. Well, how long did you teach? We, he, you yeah. retired three years ago. How long did you teach? Couldn't stay away. Um, well, okay. Allow me to continue receiving my full pension while earning a good salary from the school district. Uh, you know, m- now mo- mo- most of the teachers that that um, most of the teachers that I meet um, uh, aren't paid that well. You know what what prompted you, you know, to get your PhD? The, the, called basketball. Um, now I'm te- I'm just teaching. It gives me the freedom to be involved with my grandkids' activities. So he's. Now he's got a blog. He's doing some writing. And the wit and wisdom of the good doctor. Now, is the good doctor him? Has he got this blog up here to, you know, basically pontificate? And, and, you know, so clearly we're not finding any kind of a need here. And again, we could go that route we could it's only two or three questions and you're gonna and but we know where it's going okay i mean that's that's the thing at the end of this we can say well i told you so so we knew it was going to happen but let's just kind of go through the exercise so you see all right so he met again notice he doesn't ask anything about you right doesn't and it doesn't matter because you need to find out about him that's what you're interested in Right. So we'll go with, um, I'm a high school math teacher. So we could say here, and again, compliments. Compliments. So uh, my doctorate is in family studies. I want to do some writing. My blog. So we want to talk, if we want to get him to respond right away, 
you have to you have to react and respond to them something they're interested in right so we're going to go for the block the wit and wisdom of the good doctor I, I, I love the name of your blog. Can't wait. To see it. Okay? Pay him a compliment. Now, um, there you go. He didn't burn out. He didn't burn out. So let's use what we're, gonna, we're introducing. It's called the, the burnout script. Most of the teachers I've met burned out um, Most of the teach most of the teachers we got to go with an S. Most of the teachers I, I meet on here burned out into something else. Now we could say network marketing. And uh, how we know the answer. I was teaching school, he was coaching basketball, and he was making good money. Okay, we're gonna pop that over. And he's gonna come, it's not about you, it's not about what you do or any of that other stuff, it's about him. When he comes back and he answers you, you come back and you say, um, uh, oh, because I love teaching and it's great, and I got my PhD and life is wonderful. Come back and you could say, you know, um, a lot of teachers, again, were, most of the teachers that you meet on LinkedIn. Now you could turn around and make it a little stronger. You could say most of the teachers I work with on LinkedIn, most of the teachers I work with have jumped into network marketing to, to generate extra income for themselves. Um, but instead of asking the question, what do you know about network marketing? I would ask, how do you like learning new things? Now that's a yes or a no. Just get that. How do you like, you like learning new things? Clearly, you know, he's blogging. Uh, at some point in time, the, the next question is going to be, what experience do you have with network marketing? Because somebody's been talking to him about it. And... Uh, for all you know, for all you know, he's a network marketer. He's got a network marketing business on the side. That's probably why he can afford, you know, you know, it's not the salary. It's uh, it's a good salary when you got income coming in from someplace else. Do you have one more? Uh, Tracy, hang on just a second. I'm, somebody came to the door buying eggs, so I have to get changed. So. <laughs> okay. That's Tracy. Right. Yeah, she's recent. So T R A C E E. And she not only. Oh. What? Okay, here she is. Yeah, that's her right there. I'm gonna mute myself again because the dog's okay. on. Okay. All right. Quiet. <clears throat> Tell you she lives in the jungle. But like she said, when you work from home, there's no limits. All right, so. Um, And he's active now. I'm gonna open this up. 
that green dot, that's one of LinkedIn's newest features. So let's see who Tracy Randall is. Elite leader, okay, at an Inspire, this is a network marketing company. Oh, we're definitely gonna get her. We're gonna get to talk to her. So she's been with them for a year. Okay. Okay, I'm back. All right. Sorry about that. How's it working for you? So she's into. Oh, and will you share your passion? My work with a new product we're bringing to market. Okay, so I hope the next question is what what what's the mark what product? Um, well, 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 well. Uh, okay. Okay. All right. Now, wrong. Um, she's telling you my passion relates to my work with a new product we're bringing to market. What's the product? What's the product? It's, um, okay, but that's, uh, that, what? that, that should have been your question. What's your product? Okay. But see, she's bringing it up again. The newest venture. It's only about a year old. She wants to talk about it. And, and oh, I see. So I should have. Okay. So I went to the website and looked at the website. And I, okay. All right. So sh I should have gone. Oh, all right. I see. All right. right. Yeah. That, okay. I, I mean, yeah. it, okay. So what's the product? So now, um, what did you do before? I've done so many things. Like why for the speaker? I've always trying to look forward. Okay. All right. So again, Number one, you sound, you know, wife, mother, speaker. Um, what do you do? Okay. And she comes back. My passion relates to my, my work with a new product. We still don't know what she does. What do you do? She, you still, my, work with a new product. The question should have been, what's the new product? So, okay. so you're asking her how long she's done it before you really know what the product is. Okay. okay. It's a year old. What did you do before? We still don't know. So you're asking, well, what did you do before this? Well, we don't know what this new venture is. Okay. Okay. Uh, so, okay. I see. Uh, okay. So she's always trying to look forward. Now you're going, what are your rights? The woman wants to talk about the product. Okay? Right. Right. So this, it goes back to a recruit, the recruiter kind of. I and my team are instrumental in bringing them our, our mission is now. Okay. Okay. So, okay. Okay. Now watch. I'll show you how you can get almost an, an immediate response. I mean, okay. So, um, I'm always interested. Um, I'm always into learning new things. Um, I'm really curious to know about this new product. that has you so up and excited. Okay, so how can I learn more? Gotta ask a question.
Okay, now, recruiting the recruiter. You don't know right now, based on what you see here, she could be very success. She could be a very successful network marketer. What you want to know is you want to know who is she, what her experience is. Okay. So when she comes, how can I learn about it? She's going to give you the information. She's just started this, but now you have an idea of what it is, and now you're going to come back, and you're going to ask. Well, you know, remember she says she's an author. Um, if it's clear that it's an, is, if it's, you know, do you know what it is? No. Okay. See, yeah. if she you never know, answered that right. question. So if you know what it is, and you're about to find out. Oh, when I looked at her page, it's um, it's some kind of woman's feminine hygiene thing. Okay. All right. So all right. So now the question is, and I think I know which one you're talking about. The question is, all right. She just brought this to market. They're all excited about it. So tell me more about your you know, your experience in this, in this business, you know, what, what was your, you know, this is network, you know, what other, what other network marketing companies have you been in? What, what, um, um, uh, what was your first network marketing company? You know, what were some of the other ones and, and find, you know, how successful were you with these other ones? You know, here you're, you're out here, you're telling us that, you know, you're telling everybody you're going to teach them, you're going to train them to be successful. Well, you were in these other companies and, uh, well, you know, what happened? You know, see, you've been in one company for 17 years. There are people that go from company to company to company to company. And sometimes it's unavoidable. It's experience. You know, experience is what you get when you don't get what you want. So... You know, they may, she maybe she made some bad choices along the way. Just think, just think, if you go back to when she first got started in network marketing. Let's say, let's say, you know, she got started. Her first company was Amway twenty years ago. Tracy, do you realize that if you had gotten into our company twenty years ago? Oh my gosh. If you have any idea how outrageously successful you'd be right now. Yeah, I know. Okay, but but see now it's it, but she's hot for whatever she's hot with. Right. So again, this is one of those we make the connection, we'll come back and you know, but you're not recruitable. So um um you, you know, you appreciate the connection, you you Frankly, she writes a, you know, a very very nice letter. You know, she's she's doing all these things. Revel, you know, um, you, you're both doing the same thing. You're helping others. You know, what what's meaningful in your life? Well, you haven't told her that yet. Um, and uh, for many, it's serving others. Okay, so. Um, um, Let, let's answer that question, okay? So she wants to know, and we should have put this first. Um, she wants to know what's meaningful in your life. But you know what? Doesn't matter. She will she will respond to this because we're talking about her. And uh, um, and for, you know, I'll tell you what. And uh, you're gonna be around uh, at the one o'clock because she'll, she'll answer you by then. Yes. All right. Well, why don't you jump back on the at the one o'clock, and we'll um, we'll and so don't answer. Just let, let it uh, let. Well, I mean, let her let answer. Right. Okay. And, and then I'll come back and we'll answer. Okay. Okay. And we'll talk to you in a couple hours. All right, guys. Cool. Okay, folks. We kind of got off track here, and uh, um, but I think, or I hope to think that this was a helpful lesson. Uh, let me look in the question box and see if anybody's got any questions. And, um, anybody got any questions? All right, well, let, let me just kind of wrap this up kind of over. Uh, let's talk about some of these new elements, these new features 
about face about LinkedIn that gives you an opportunity to talk to people because this is what it's all about. The notifications over here are outrageous because what they do is literally they are giving you an opportunity to reach out and talk to people and you can create these are the strategies we're talking about you can create your own notification okay these, these folks here are having a birthday um, three people here are starting a new position so with all of the friends that Annie has all of the connections all she has to do is change her start date for when she got into um, Malibu. In fact, let me um, let's go over here and let's look at her profile. And I'm going to unmute her just again. Annie, you there? I'm here. Okay. Uh, let's see. What? When did you start in Malibu? Uh, February 1st, 2001. Just before 9-11. Um. Um. Ba, 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 ba. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. You've been in the same business. We're call, you're, we're calling it peak performers, right? But this is real. This is your Maluka business, right? Yes, it is. Okay. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna we're gonna come over here, and we're going to edit this. And we're gonna make this September. Okay. Okay. And we're going to come down here and we're going to go back to, when did you start? What year? Uh, now you're messing with my brain. Um, <laughs> I actually started um, uh, 1990, no, now, so I can't even think of the date, 20 or 17 years ago. So, okay, so it's 2000, uh, well, that would, that would be 2000. 2001. Yeah, you said around 9-11. Yeah, so 2001. All right, so now here's what's going to happen. We're going to save this. And now you not only have um, an anniversary, okay? You, you got an anniversary. So... Um, my guess is that it'll start throwing out notices uh, or, or notifications to all of the... All the people in my network. Yeah, yeah. How, how, uh, yeah how big is your network? Uh, 9,200 plus. Okay, so what we just did is those 9,200 people are all going to get a little notification that you are having an anniversary celebrating your business. You think maybe that'll shake the tree a little bit? <laughs> I mean, it may take me a month to get up to them all. <laughs> well, right, and and so, right, so that's why we have to be more select. We have to be selective right. about who we answer. You can't possibly answer everybody. So, we'll, right. we'll we'll come back to that. So we'll we'll, we'll see what happens by one o'clock. Right. Okay, anybody else have any questions? All right, let me uh, quickly... give you all some information. Um, whoops.
Well, let's see. Nope. Um, well, I'll be back at uh, 1 o'clock this afternoon. If there's anybody that has any questions, uh, catch up with me there. Um, uh, for the old timers, will you have a deal for the retreat? I don't want to experience withdrawal. Um, yeah, well, Robin, we'll come up with something. All right, folks, if you're not talking to people every day, I was kind of hoping some of these people would uh, have written back and, and responded, but the bottom line is um, LinkedIn is hot. Uh, we did this training, and, and, I, and this, is what I, this is what I'm going to share with you. Uh, at one o'clock. I apologize. I, I, I meant to get to it. So I'll give you a quick <clears throat> little sneak peek. Um, every second, there are two people creating a LinkedIn profile. That's 172,000 new ones a week, a day. That's 1.2 million a year, a week. And it's almost five million a month. <clears throat> so what's happening is you have this easy, fast access to LinkedIn. And what we did was we've developed scripts like the LinkedIn icebreaker um, that absolutely work. And so when we went into the searching area and I did this for Pat Anderson's team. And they've got strategies specifically for veterans. And we show them how you can find veterans on Facebook and LinkedIn. And I was blown away by the, the resource, how easy it is to find. Let me, let me make this a little bit bigger. Like veterans on LinkedIn. They got 56,000 Air Force veterans that you could be talking to. So we did veterans. We did what they call uh People that transform people. Personal trainers, fitness instructors. We went into the burned out script strategy and we picked teachers and school principal. So come back one o'clock and uh, I'm going to jump back into her account and of course, in addition, stay at home moms. And believe it or not, you can find stay-at-home moms on LinkedIn. All right. So we'll be back uh, later. I'm, I'm definitely going to post this on YouTube.